Hello, and welcome to Great Hang, the greatest hang that's ever hanged. I'm your hang, Tim McLaughlin, coming to you with your other hang, Micah Fox. Hello, Micah. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. How are you? Oh, you know me. I'm great all the time, every day. Just thankful to be alive and praising Allah. Yeah, that's <laughs> not true. Micah's been being a real bitch lately. Uh, but I'm very happy you're here. And Micah, would you like to introduce our guest? I would like to. Um, very funny comedian and friend and friend of the show, Brittany Cardwell. Oh, hey. hello. Thanks hey, for hello, having me. Brittany. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. We just, uh, we celebrated Memorial Day together. That was fun. We did. A real beach disaster. That was rough. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys went to the beach and it sucked dicks. Yeah, we. I actually didn't even see her at the beach. I got there first with my exuberance and got pelted by sand and then told everyone to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> what a nightmare. So we where'd got to you see guys... all those turtles, though. And, um, we did. We went we... to Prospect Park. In the end, and there were turtles. Yeah, a bunch. Oh, there's so I took so many pictures of turtles. No photos of us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not <laughs> one photo of the gang. I got the dog. You got there was a yeah. dog, but so many turtles came by to say hello. That's pretty cool. So that's a good omen for the, n- the rest of the year, you know. Yeah. Are they the fallen soldiers reincarnated? Probably. There was one turtle that was really trying to hang. That one guy yeah. popped up like six times. Yeah. Hmm. That's nice. Well, what a nice Tim's time. getting jealous. I am jealous. I want to hang out with fucking turtles, fucking Michelangelo and shit. <laughs> out there eating pizza the fucking pond with the turtles. I'd like to do that. <laughs> like to hang out. I got a one-star review at the gutter. Oh, no. That's right. It's okay. I told Jack, this woman, she was like, our lane is broken. I was like, you're out of time. She was like, but we didn't finish our game. And I was like, no, you're out of time. It's not by game. You bought by time. And you only bought a half an hour, and your half an hour is up. And she goes, but we want <laughs> a refund because we didn't finish our game. I go, you're not getting one. And then the one guy was like, there's grease all over the balls. The balls are greasy. And I was like, and yeah. And Tim that's- was like, well, those sex acts are separate, sir. <laughs> yeah, Micah. <laughs> Dirty, and Tim, filthy. you should take a shower every now and then. I took a shower today. And stop sharing <laughs> your balls around town. I like to do it. Anyways, this guy was all pissed off because he touched my balls. Then he got stains on his pants and he was from fucking Italian or some bullshit. One star. I already had this strain of chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> he said one star, terrible staff, broken lanes. Greasy balls. Was he like? <laughs> writes in two words. Sentences. Was he like the man looked like Fred Flintstone, but had the mind of a Barney Rubble? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Fred <laughs> Flintstone was also stupid. You're right, Tim. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, this is good, Brittany. You ever get a one star review on anything for any of your work that you've ever done? For my work? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, He's got, like got my this. work. Of course oh, not. Oh yeah. Yeah, actually, no, I've had uh, people email me, and it's basically a one-star review, but over an email. And Ooh, it's like, for, for what? I'm an editor at a, a science journal. Oh, so like nice. Science. Like, we are a big science yeah, house yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking um, wall about the ooze. <laughs> but I'll get emails because I, like, reject their, their work. Oh, really? And then they'll email me, like, emotional and attack me, and they'll be like... Look at your Google Scholar page where you haven't done anything. And then do you give them? Then do you give them the Ben Shapiro, where you go facts don't care about your feelings, yeah, yeah. and then you like be like, and I also hate gay people, blah yeah. blah blah. Happy Pride. Yeah, those are all templates I have. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. So you have to deny scientists on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Damn. That's what you get for being a fucking nerd, you loser. She's like God herself. Yes. <laughs> Your science ain't real. Yeah. What's the latest thing? What's the, what, what, mm, no, what's the question I want to ask? Answer that, please. Uh, so, how do you wash your balls, and how do you know when they're clean? <laughs> uh, no. Do you have a science, is there a scientific proven way to wash your balls? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to write in and send it into the science journal, and if it gets tonight, I'm going to be freaking pissed. <laughs> Tim's like, I like soap. <laughs> <laughs> That was what it was going to be. <laughs> it was going to be a hardcore, real in-depth soap talk. What um, What's like the harshest thing that anyone's ever sent you is what I was going to ask. Is anyone like... It was probably them basically saying I had no abilities to say anything about their paper. Oh, damn. Because uh, I haven't published enough myself. Were you like, then maybe you should be an editor? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're so smart. That's the smart. reason I'm not publishing, because I'm doing this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well... And I'm doing comedy. That's the main reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Comedy um, will get in the way of publishing your science. It stopped me for the last 13 <laughs> years. 
Man, well, that's fun. Science is fun. What kind of, what's the coolest scientific thing that you've ever had to read? Oh, man, I don't know. There was, I was thinking about, because if you sent the thing about cleaning your balls, oh, that's yeah, like, sure. when I, I love when I get weird stuff like that, because it's like a relief from all the seriousness. And so you immediately press publish? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fucked up piece of shit. <laughs> there was this really weird paper. Sorry, I didn't know we'd be talking about this stuff. And I, well, I, you brought uh, it up. I guess I did. No. Let's yeah. find out if she <laughs> is too dumb to do her job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't remember anything about I did even t- what I did even well, today. Were you gu- were you the guys who like I mean like weird shit like when you grow an ear on a mouse back? Because that's the only scientific article I've ever thought about in my life. <laughs> you just imagine a rat with an ear all the time. Uh, yeah. How can you not? Yeah, you yeah. you know exactly you know what about, I'm talking um, about, right? Do you know about these teratoma tumors? Oh, oh you know no. This? And will my hypochondria f- hate that you told me about this? Teratoma you know tumors? No, what is it? Oh, my they God. They got so much They're memory. Crazy. It's a memory. <laughs> yeah. I guess they do in a way. Terabyte. Oh, terabyte. I I'm it. just being funny. <laughs> I got it. Tim's a here? Tim's our science expert. Here's, I'm gonna, <laughs> he's our tech geek. I'm gonna tell you what it is, and I'm gonna look it up and show you. They're okay. insane. Yeah, it's a tumor, and it's like made out of every type of cell from when you're like developing new cells. So it's a tumor that's like full of teeth and nails oh, and yeah. hair oh. and like all the like different like cell types that are forming. I don't know anything about this topic, but like oh. it, yeah, 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 yeah. So wait, you grow. Oh. Ev- <laughs> Oh, no, oh. I'm not looking anymore. Oh, my Wait, fucking God. I that was so see. nasty. Oh, my God. Wait a second. So you grow new teeth? I yelled a bunch. You didn't it's even look. It's just a look. tumor that's a ball of, like, teeth, hair, and, like, those types of, like, early but, development cells. Okay, quick question. Is it, since it's early development cells, is it your teeth? Look at it so I can get yeah. it off the so screen. So, like, yeah. if someone, so, like, let's say someone Wait, let's kills you. one. You could fake your own death this way. You use your oh. teeth for the dental records, and you, it's just your teratoma teeth. Oh, my teeth. God. That's so smart. This oh, my God. Wait, nobody take that. I'm writing a mystery yeah. novel. <laughs> Anyways, Micah, here Let they are. See. Look Wait, at them. Do I have to this, go to it? See? There's, All like, right. hair and teeth. Oh, it's so oh, cute. Look at this animal has one on its <gasps> head. <gasps> no! <laughs> what the fuck is... Why yeah, does it... Yeah, and, like, eye stuff. It has... It's, it's got, got everything. It looks like a face. So, it, yeah, it has a face. I think that one was fake. Oh, like but someone took all the pieces and put them together? Yeah. It looks order. like a... All right, that's <gasps> enough. That is enough. If you want to go look at that yourself, it's gross, so, so what don't. Do you, what do you have to do to grow a ter- teratoma tumor? I don't really know Say that ten them. times fast. What you can if you have extra teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Freddie Mercury. Didn't he have extra teeth? What was his deal? Wasn't his mouth he extra, extra bigger? He was like a shark. Oh, he had yeah. like extra rows and stuff. That's and he not could true. <laughs> I always said, oh, yeah, like it was true. <laughs> but his mouth was like extra big or something, right? He had like another set in the back. Yeah. Oh, that's what, what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. So it opened his, his like jaw was extra wide. And that's like why the, he could. Like the teeth kept going far or he had a new, that, like a brand new set? Like where your wisdom teeth are, he had like another set behind that. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I think. But he didn't have more of the front ones back there. No. I don't. God, like they just start over. (laughs) He bites his tongue constantly. (laughs) It's just just another mouth back there. I mean, he did have, like, when you see him sing, like, you notice he has, like, kind of like a crazy mouth, but you're like, what's going on there? And it's because he's got, like, a million teeth in there. He had mesodentus. He had a referring to more than one extra tooth. (laughs) So he had it in the upper jaw. Uh, He had, were conical. So he had two conical extra teeth, I guess. Mm. Huh. Is that a picture of his open mouth? Yeah. Okay. So there's his mouth open. <coughs> there's a picture of him smiling, looking oh, fucked yeah. up. Oh, yeah. They're really being pushed out. Yeah. He was Egyptian. That's the kind of stuff that happens when you're bred from uh, pyramid makers, you know? <laughs> and I hate to say it. I don't want to be stereotypical. You know who else is bred from pyramid makers? The Jews? You're, me, your girl. You're looking right I at I don't her. know if that's true, though. <laughs> slave era. What up? You don't know. You don't know that you're slave Jew or not. You don't know that. We all come from the same Jews. That's not true, I don't think. Yes, it is. The ones that wandered the desert are the ones who populated all the rest of the Jews. But that story's not like, re- that's not like hey, a fuck, real story. Prove it. Okay, okay. Prove it ain't real, Until Is there could- a Rugrats episode on this or something? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's oh, that one. Brother, yeah. But here's the other thing. Uh, I, You're right. Any story where a man talks to fire and then parts the seas is true. Well, <laughs> not any story, just that one. 
<laughs> well, I'm sorry that you, we don't talk about the legacy of your people where they talk to their beer bottle and part <laughs> their ass cheeks as they have beer diarrhea. Got him. <laughs> Mike, you didn't got him. That was so. That was so good. People are going to be repeating that in school tomorrow. Yeah, people, this is how they're going to be repeating it. Um, people that um, they're talking to their um, beer bottle and open their uh, ass cheeks. That's that's the that's sound. That's how Tim, you're. That's how you just. That was Tim reading a paragraph. <laughs> yeah, that actually is what it sounds like. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, that'd be pretty good for me. All right, Brittany, we've gotten to the part of the show. This is where, this is one of our favorite parts. It's plugs. You get to plug stuff. Plug your shit, bitch. Oh, okay. Um, well, I got a podcast called Worthless Clowns with Allie O'Neill. Oh, yeah. Friend out. of the show, right Allie O'Neill. Tim's on soon. We're getting yes. on. Well, we can't figure out the dates. But been scheduling conflicts. Been scheduling you for like four months. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of it was, you didn't know about. <laughs> That's good. But... <laughs> yeah. Then when yeah, I'm, Tim's had scheduling conflicts for four months, the man never leaves the house. <laughs> <laughs> the only time people ever ask me to do anything is on Monday when I have to work. I'm yeah. constantly <laughs> getting asked to do things on Mondays. Ah, uh, fucking Garfield over here. <laughs> I know. I freaking hate it. <laughs> He's they like, got, I'm too busy eating lasagna. That's right. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, I got a show called Ambush every Wednesday in Brooklyn with uh, Lucas Connolly and Josh Johnson. Fucking it's great show. Fun. Yeah. Yep. It's always packed. It's always full of people who kind of want to be there. Yeah, they're always like a little hesitant. It's funny because <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> it's a, it's, I love that show. You should check it out. Two Boots in uh, Williamsburg. Yeah, yeah. Wednesdays at 8. Uh, and you get a free beer if you show up 30 minutes early. Hey. Hey. Although Damn. they've reduced our cup size. Oh, to nine shit. ounces. Still uh, come, but it's... Isn't that insane? Like a free beer? Yeah. Oh. It's like getting to the point of being like a flight size. So, Damn. but is that for like the ones you pay for too? Or like if you pay for one... No, these are just the free ones. Oh. Yeah, paid ones are regular. Who's tracking the extra three ounces or whatever it is? Mm-hmm. And they've done it little by little. It used to be 16. Now it's... T- then it was 12. And now it's nine. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. Soon you're going to have like these teeny tiny yeah, little... Yeah, it's just a little shot, like a sampler. That sucks. Yeah. I know. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm also going to be tr- trying to reduce my cup size this summer, so <laughs> check that out. That's right. I mean, I didn't know they could go any smaller than extra small, but... <laughs> that's a That's a sports cup we're talking about <laughs> what Micah? i thought you were talking about your bra cup yeah that's what i was talking about i'm talking about your sports cup because because your dick <laughs> oh, is small oh oh okay see here's the thing <laughs> about it's that more of the history of the irish here's people. the thing what you did is yeah. you went like one plus three equals seven you like fucked it's up it's called a to d thinking bitch okay well <laughs> and you're trying to go d to your a, a to, your a to d thinking got a fucking f because it sucked <laughs> All right, and F uh, for fun, <laughs> Micah. <laughs> F for fuck you and do your plugs. Um. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna be in Jersey. Uh, I still don't remember the name of that thing. So fucking. I don't know. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Uh, look at my Instagram at m y k a f o x, and you'll find all my dates there. And at Twitter, where I'm usually getting into fights with people, and on TikTok, where I never post anything. All at m y k a f o x. It always. Come to my show every Friday night at 9 o'clock live from Outer Space at Cobra Club. It's Great a real show. Great show. There you go. Super Brand- fun. One of my favorite shows to go to. There we go. Guest endorsement. It is a great hang, actually. It really is. And you can always check me out at hot underscore comic 69 on Instagram. You can check out the Tough Questions podcast with Tim and Jeff. And if you want, you can check out the Great Hang Patreon at patreon.com slash great hang. It is a ton of fun. I'm thinking that we're going to do a new thing on the Patreon where we, we'll we do a game night, we'll film it, and we'll have a bunch of people over. Pieces of shit known from the podcast. Bobby Condon. Yeah. Jeff Sheen. Yeah. Um, other, na- anyone else who's a fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Maybe Tom Takar when he's in town. He's a fucking piece of shit. Possibly women. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll make an appearance myself. <laughs> Micah is hyper competitive, so I think it'll be a fun time. I also don't give a fuck if I win or lose anything. So check that out. That's upcoming here on the Patreon, patreon.com slash great hang. So check it out. And uh, we appreciate all of you for listening. Now, Brittany, this is a yeah. part of the show, controversial part of the show. Uh, Some people like it. 
Some Me. people hate it. It's my favorite part. It's Micah's favorite part. If you've got a bit you're working on, oh, okay. Mike yeah. and I will use our superb comedy knowledge. Remember that <laughs> A to D thinking I just yeah. did? And remember me fucking straight up dunking on her and being extra hilarious? <laughs> this is the kind of stuff we're going to use <laughs> to help you fit, spit that, come up. What, it's spit called spit that, that bit. bit. All yeah. right. Well, I need some help. Um I got two that I could Hell work yeah. on. Hell yeah. All Let's right. start with one. All right. <laughs> Do you want to start with... Um... I don't know why that made me laugh, but Micah, <laughs> you're back on. You were off for a minute with your fucking nonsensical blathering, but now you're back. Tim, it's called Filling Holes in the Podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. One is about anxiety and one is um, about movies. You know what? Tim and I are each an expert on one. Yeah. Hey, I know which are which. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clear. <laughs> You've never felt anxiety, have you? Oh, I've felt it before. I actually never When I'm this late for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> to me. <laughs> All right, I'll start with the movie one. Um, All right. Uh, okay, so this one. Uh, my mom, like, I don't think she understands where movies come from. Because she does this thing. I've done this on stage before, but I think it's still a little premisey. Um, she does this thing where every time I put a movie on for us to watch, she'll like, if it has a lot of sex and violence in it, if one of those scenes comes on, she turns to me and she's like, <gasps> who chose this movie? <laughs> like I like knew what was going to yeah. happen yeah. in the scene. Like she thinks I'm involved in the production of it. Right. Yeah. And it's just like. It's so weird. My mom thinks I wrote the pussy scene from The Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So something like that where it's like. Okay. Yeah. Like she thinks you should know everything that happens in the movie. She seems to think that just because I chose it, it means like I know that it's got all this like really awful stuff that she has to watch with me. You should. Next you should play a movie where like a daughter wants to fuck her mom. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, I donh, don't know yeah. who picked this. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's good. And then, but also, you could take the path of, oh, if you think this is bad, and then you go on a big tirade about the producers in Hollywood. Oh. And in fact, not be funny at all, <laughs> but say a bunch of stuff really fast so everybody claps and agrees with you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, good, that's comedy. good comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love when people talk fast, don't say anything funny, but at the end, everyone claps. But they I'm got like, words I recognize. They got words you recognize, and they like memorized that. all of them, and yeah. people are clapping, and you're like, <laughs> this is not comedy. But you could go, when she's like, who made these movies? You could be like, well, one of them is now in jail for raping women. <laughs> or you could keep, or she said, not partaking in that at all i'm just saying <laughs> oh i'm so sorry that i understand what's happening in today's world you you could make a hope you could bring back your home videos and be like look at this yeah. <laughs> like, turns out you did mom yeah like one of her pornos or oh something. my god oh they, my they, did, okay. does your mom fuck I, is your mom fucking oh oh yeah they have videos and yes! they don't know where they are what and they don't know where problems they are? because all I want for any birthday or Christmas is present is a digitized version of the home videos. Not of, <laughs> obviously not of them, but my dad gets weird about it every time I ask. He's like, "Oh, it'll be a whole thing. I gotta like go through all the tapes and the, like look at what's in there because there? there's something just within a basketball game of my brothers or something oh like that." Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, that they did. you know, once we were uh, trying to watch Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, mm. and like halfway through, there was some like porn that my dad takes over <laughs> with, and we were like. <laughs> Yes, let's go. <laughs> yeah. This journey rule. This is something that like Gen Alpha and even like Gen Z or whatever will never understand. Things yeah. they'll never yeah. understand. Yeah, <laughs> things only today. a millennial will understand. Here's things millennials understand: planes going into towers, <laughs> and also taping over stuff. Ta ta taping porn over Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Yeah. I think also one of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies got fouled in the oh, same no. way. <laughs> Dude, I was watching my tapes of the Twin Towers going down. And then it was just, I taped it over, I guess, with some gay porno. It was just a guy going down on another guy sucking his <laughs> tower. I was like, geez, Louise. <laughs> a plane going in between two cheeks. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Did that help? 
That was really helpful. <laughs> yeah. That was great. <laughs> All right. So what's the anxiety one? We'll help with that one, too. All right. Um, I, if I can work it around to 9-11 somehow, I'll see what I can yeah. do. <laughs> oh, it's related to 9-11. Let's actually. go. Um, so when I'm on a plane and uh, we're about to land or there's turbulence, like... what? Well, I have crazy plane anxiety. Oh, me too. Okay. And it's I do something insane, which is like... Okay, so I will, like, for the last 10 minutes of a landing, I'm just, like, preparing to die every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, the only thing I don't want is for me to be doing something, like, really stupid when I'm dying. <laughs> yeah. Like, watching my own Instagram story or, like, listening to, like, Eminem or something like that. So, I, like... Um, <laughs> but call the play. Eminem is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eminem the is the world's greatest so rapper. <laughs> and he's white. What else do you want? <laughs> So I will like in those last ten minutes I'm like thinking I could die and I don't want to do something stupid. So I'll like take my headphones out, turn my phone off, and close my eyes and just like try and think about my family and like just like memories of them and I'm like, I could die like this and I would be like, That's fine. Yeah. But then <laughs> sometimes I struggle to bring to mind actual memories. Uh -huh. So I'm just sitting there just like thinking the concept of family. So it's just like family, <laughs> family. <laughs> well, that concept would give me worse anxiety than yeah. that fucking flight. Yeah. Sometimes it does. There will be things where I'm like, that's not good. So wait, who are you trying to prove that you're not lame to? Yeah. No, to it's God? More, God is dead. You know that. You work in science. <laughs> it, yeah. But what's funny is I end up doing something just as dumb. Yeah. Like it's just as embarrassing to die thinking family than it is to like, I don't know. Well, not even yeah. be able to think of your family also. Yeah. But you, I mean, you could do a thing where you're like, family, fuck, fuck, ah, fuck. did we go on a picnic? You could start <laughs> naming things, trying to think of stuff that you've done, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you could create a, like a list of shit you want to think about as you're dying, like ahead of time. You yeah, know? yeah. And hey, you pull and out your you list. And then you reference it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, a you, good idea. You get like a photo album yeah. out. Yeah. And then the guy next to you is like, what are you doing? You're like, we're about to die. These are Have my you last thinking. <laughs> don't, get, don't get into my last thoughts, you fucker. And it looks yeah. like I'm just studying flashcards. Yeah. It's just like photos with descriptions on they the back. They think you have that 50 first dates disease. Yeah. 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 You're like, listen, you fat fuck. I don't want to be my, my last memory being them bringing you an extender. They're like, why do you carry these photos around with you? Why don't you just get tattoos like the Memento guy? Oh, yeah. They're just all family good. memories. I mean, yeah, the most embarrassing thing is to think that anyone gives a fuck about your last memories. No, right. only I do. That's but, the thing, but though. But you'll be dead. I know, but if if I'm about to die, I want to be like, this is, this is good. This is what you want to think about. But then all I'm thinking is the word family in front of my face. It's like worse. Yeah. And then Steve Harvey pops up. <laughs> Family feud, bitch. Oh, I was like, there's some real A to F thinking. No. A <laughs> to family. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Micah on planes, she'll be like, ah, ah, Oh, really? Ah. I fully, like, my body, like, takes over. The anxiety is, like, overrides. It overrides every drug I've ever taken. I Whoa. used to get, like, blackout drunk. I yeah. would take all the shit. Like, it overrides it. I shake. Like, throughout or just turbulence? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends yeah. on the no, flight. It's, it's mm. almost the entire flight. No, well, Literally, the last flight if there's I was on, it was bad. Anything, anything happens on the plane. Like, if the... The thing dings? If the thing dings, uh -huh. if the seatbelt <laughs> thing dings, she goes... Oh, 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 and I just, I sit there and laugh and laugh. Sometimes I get nervous when they don't speak quickly enough after the intercom comes Yes, on. exactly. I'm like, why, why, are, you, why are you hesitating? Everybody knows, everybody knows the story that listens to this. But uh, Micah's plane had to like circle new york because there was a storm no it detoured all the way up towards toronto because it, there was a storm oh. We're toronto's to not york. that far but it's far by car so yeah. when you see yourself way overshoot your destination yeah. and they didn't say it's like an hour on a flight right yeah they didn't yeah. say anything mm. so i'm watching i'm mm. the only mother you know the people that watch the map oh i love the map i'm <laughs> i'm on the map the whole time yeah, making <laughs> helping fly the plane <laughs> I'm flying that plane, and I'm watching. Are you on it because it calms you down usually? Yeah, because you, you want to know where you're at. Because I'm watching where. World's Greatest Showman, and Huge Jackman <laughs> is out there singing and dancing, and I'm loving it. So I'm watching it. Right, I'm watching us pass it, and they haven't said anything, and I'm sitting there like they've hijacked the plane. Yeah. Oh, and nobody's telling God. us, and like the plate, the, f the pilots are dead, mm. and there's people up at the, f <laughs> and you know, and we're yeah. fucking going God oh knows God. where. I'm, I'm just so fucking drenched in sweat, like uh, every adrenaline. And you're alone. 
Uh, well, flying alone, yeah. yeah but like, yeah. and I do the window seat because that calms me down. But then I can't get out, and finally, I like call the lady over. I go up to the bathroom, and I have like the nerve to finally be like. Yeah. Uh, we like way past New York, and she's like, "Yeah, because the weather." And I'm like, "Okay, you can fucking, you can fucking <laughs> yeah. tell a person that." Yeah, you could. That's anyway, terrifying. very terrifying. Almost oh, died. <laughs> I look at that screen nonstop too, and right? I've never seen anything Does weird. It, it fucking, it'll freak you out, and then you're looking around, and no one else is worried. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you're all fucking morons. Mm. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> listen. I always tell my guy, "Go look at me. If I get worried, then something's wrong." Because I'm a very good flyer. But Tim's a moron. Yeah, but, but I understand get... <laughs> when a plane is crashing. Yeah, by the time it's I'm, all obvious. Listen, like, I may be I'm sl- worried. <laughs> I may be slow. I may be clumsy. <laughs> but I know when a plane is falling to the ground. But, well, it's pre-falling. It's only been hijacked, but it hasn't been started mm. the descent. Man. Mm-hmm. The, I mean, you know, the there worst... was probably some smooth flying on... Uh, on the 9-11 planes before it yeah. hit the... Oh, sure. Yeah. On the With D.B. Cooper, there was only that one bump. That's all anyone ever felt. Wait, what? D.B. Cooper? D.B. Cooper, he stole a bunch of money, oh, jumped out 70s. of a plane. Oh. And like, Never got caught. Like pretty hidden from everybody. Wait, he jumped out of a plane that everyone else was on? Yeah, he like stole... He didn't stole really like a million dollars. But didn't he, all the air pressure get changed and stuff when he opened the hatch or whatever? Yeah, but it doesn't really like affect the way the plane. I think they were low enough or something. Plane right? flies. Yeah, and he jumped out. He had a parachute. Everyone, they think he died though. Yeah, my then dad. Then why would they find him in the money? They found. They the found money, some of the money, like in a river close oh, to where really? he jumped out. Yeah. Damn. My dad loves DB Cooper. Oh yeah. He, like for years, he was like, "Why don't you take a summer off and we'll try and find DB Cooper together?" And he's like, he means it. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> That's fun. That'd you know, be cool. I just heard a theory that uh, Don Draper was actually DB Cooper, <laughs> which makes sense because he wore like the suit and the thing, and there's that picture of him, the, him so falling young. in the beginning. Oh, yeah, that's so funny. Of the thing, Mike. Uh, <laughs> what? You have been reading too many fan theories about too many things. <laughs> what? I told you they're never right. <laughs> You were talking about that fan theory for Succession. I'm like, there's fan theories all the time for One Piece. They're almost never right. Everyone thought it was going to be Greg who won. I'm like, I can't hear this shit anymore. Mm. It's pissing me off. I never thought outside of the uh, the two obvious groups. Oh, yeah? I was really shocked yeah. when they started considering Tom. Yeah. Anyway. Spoilers. Spoiler yeah. alert, Brittany. Fucking <laughs> asshole. No, you should have been. You should have done watched it already. I feel nothing for you. Yeah. <laughs> I also didn't know it was the end. Well, the whole what thing. the hell? What no, the fuck? I knew it was the end when it happened, but then I didn't know it was like the final. When I knew it was the you, end of the season, and then I was like, oh. When did you know? You didn't know it was You're the end of the You're not a fan. Series? I can't listen to this. I didn't know. That's crazy. Yeah, Everybody, why do you think it was so rapid pace all of a sudden? Like, they really, like, fucking started. I think I was just like, this is getting good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesse Armstrong's a genius. Anyway. All yeah. right, Micah. What? Oh, hot takes. It's take. time for hot takes. Mike is going to read us something, do, 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 and we're going to have to give a take on it immediately right. before we get any of the extra information. Okay. All right? um, Ooh, I can use my intuition. I got to practice right. this. Your right. female intuition, and I will also use my female intuition since it is Pride Month, and I have that. So there we go. <laughs> Am I the asshole for kicking my husband's aunt out of the house for criticizing my bond with my cat after having a baby? Hmm. Um. Most likely not the asshole. I'm gonna say him. as much as the cat hates me here, <laughs> and I love her with all of my heart, and would probably <laughs> run into a fire and burn myself really bad to save her. No. All right, let's take a look. Let's I love that motherfucker, and she fucking <laughs> does not give a fuck about me, That's and it's really upsetting. The other day, she was sitting on Micah. And then was just just nudged me with her paw to wake me up. She nudged me to wake me up, and then I woke up, and then she meowed at me to get her food. I'm like, you're sitting on the, I'd sit, you're sitting on Michael. Wake her up. What the fuck? Oh, that's cute. That's she cute. loves she you. She acknowledged you. Yeah, no, yeah. She, that's the most acknowledgement he's ever gotten. He complains about that. I'm, yeah, like, I I'm her. Good. I I'm the progress. cat's slave. She sees me as her slave. Well, it's I see true. You as my I slave am. As well. but I don't A lot of love be. starts that way. It's like uh, dependence. Whoa, then, deep. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I know, woof. Um, who's the slave in this situation? We know. <laughs> Considering I'm the one who works for everyone. I have two jobs <laughs> now, motherfucker. Yeah, well, I have two incomes. Oh, yeah. Well, 
In a in a sense, so do I have three incomes. Yeah. Four if you count Karen constantly giving me handouts. That's true. <laughs> All right. Hey everyone. I find myself in need of some judgment since my family's divided and still think I and I still think I'm not the asshole. I'm looking for your honest opinions to help me assess. I'm a woman in my late twenties and I recently became a mother. I've been absolutely loving every aspect of motherhood. Alongside my newfound role as mom, I have I have ch I have a cherished cat whom I have always shared a deep bond with. That's right. I, even after the arrival of my baby, I have made it a point to continue involving my cat in our family life. We still go on little walks together around the garden, just the two of us, <laughs> and I make sure to spend quality time snuggling and bonding with her. I also love how much my girl loves and cares for the baby. This is very cute. During a visit from my husband's family, his aunt decided to share their unsolicited opinion with me. Oh, is her his aunt a they them? The mm. fuck? Whoa. Maybe that's the issue. <laughs> There's some deep seated homophobia sprouting. Yeah. Mm. Oh, from this woman, and she's gonna raise her child as a turf. Mm hmm Probably. Jesus Christ. It was kind of out of the blue. My cat is shy with people, so she was in my room looking through the window. When she wants my attention, she makes a particular <coughs> meow. Aww. Don't I know it? <laughs> <laughs> Husband told me, and I went to check on her. First of all, can you imagine this family? Like, Yes, I can. <laughs> you, that's you, bitch. What do you I, mean, can you imagine this family? It's so I'm funny like, because it's like I totally get everything that's happening, but people who don't have or love cats are like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. If I a was particular like, hey, meow? Yeah. If I was like, hey, Micah, the cat seems distressed, you would drop everything and go hang out with her instead of hanging out with anyone in the family. Once we were having a <laughs> giant blowout and Toe somehow got soap on her fur, and I spent 45 minutes trying to rinse it out, but it was like <laughs> so in there. 45 minutes just in my party. What are you going to uh -huh. do, though? You can't ever lick soap. Turns yeah. out you can. Turns out it's I fine. mean, we were watching the end of Succession, and this, uh, here's the thing. Oh, that's true, too. We're watching the end of Succession. I'm not allowed to say word fucking one during the show. If I li li if I move too much, Mike is like, stop it! The show is happening. You cannot move. I'll kick him out of the house. This little bitch, the cat, is on her back. She's rolling around. She's, She's on a real show. Put on one of the cutest shows you've ever seen in your life. And Michael was like, just look at her. I was like, I was like, I wish I could say something right now, but I have to be quiet. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm a human man. <laughs> yeah. You say that like it's a good thing. <laughs> oh, you are no. the lowest <laughs> class in society now. Take your place. Yeah. Oh, shit. White, cis, het, human, male. <laughs> Gross. I'm a furry now, I've decided. <laughs> nice. They aren't respected yet. Fuck. Um... My husband told me I went to check on her. After I came back, his aunt started going on about having a cat around my baby could potentially be dangerous and implied that I should shift my focus away from my cat. She said it was not natural and that I should just focus on the baby. A cat is a cat. Not natural? She's just having emotions about an animal. It's I think insane. that's natural. I mean, a cat is a cat. I have to say that <laughs> a lot around here because Michael worries that the cat's like hurt for some reason. I'm like, she's a cat. She's fine. But... In this situation, cats are allowed to be around babies. As if they're part of the family. Yeah. Yeah. What is she worried about? Toxoplasmosis? Maybe, or maybe mm. like some claws or biting. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but the cat, if the cat likes the baby, if you give the cat enough attention, it doesn't become resentful of the child. And Tim's it will an learn expert, to like, steer clear of the yep. kid if it's annoying yeah. Yeah. or something. Yeah. Wait, so, okay. I told her to get out of my house now. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she was astonished, and I told her it is extremely rude to go to other people's houses and start criticizing how they live their lives, especially when we barely have a relationship. I've seen the woman three times in my life. One of them was the wedding. She and her sister got out. My husband told me I was right, but I was rude, and I could have said that in a better way. My sister-in-law, who was present, thinks I overreacted. <laughs> I told my best friend, and she's with me, but she's also a cat lover, so I don't know if that counts. This is just such a weird criticism. Like, the way you live your life, and it's right. like, all it is is that she loves her cat and gives her cat attention. Yeah. Um, is it? But it's not like she's taking a lot of attention away from the baby, right? I, I mean, I don't think so. It sounds like there was plenty of people to pay attention to the yeah. baby at that moment. The yeah. husband, the two aunts, the friend. Yeah. This lady kind of sounds like a bitch, to be quite honest. But also, you don't got to kick her out. It's pretty fucking extreme. Yeah. Get out of my house. I mean, we don't know the tone in which the woman said it. It could She could have had a real tone well, about it. now. Which is yeah. definitely... No, no, I'm talking about the oh, aunt. The, other one. the aunt could have had like a real fucking... You mean the they? The, the, the they... Are you to say aunt? Aunt. 
Are you allowed aunt. to say aunt if it's if it's a they? I don't think it's a they them. I think Micah just made that no, up. No, they said there, but I think it was just I think the person's just not very good at writing or mm. wrote too quickly and was yeah. not like matching. See, this is why pronouns are an issue. Now it's But confusing. I never thought about Micah, it. Micah, like don't say to that aunt, they're good. Aunt, uncle. What? Like Expanding it to aunt, uncle. Is there something we're supposed to do? Different? Anyway, oh. there's aunt. Oh, yeah, there oh, right, right, right. I know right. that. Wait, what are the, there's one for Z- nieces, but I forget what it is. Zuncle. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I, there are there are words for it, but I don't Zeese. know. Yeah. Um. Okay, so, I mean, there is a sense too that she's like a new mom. Maybe her like hormones are all fucked up. Oh uh, yeah. I think yeah. there's like some room for that. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Uncle. Uncle. On, oh, they okay, is a so queer combination of aunt and uncle. uncle. Cousin is neutral. Um, TT <laughs> would be I don't know what the fuck. Uncle just sounds like uncle though. Yeah, uncle. For uncle, yeah. My uncle. It sounds like you're just like a German ch- yeah. brat. My nibbling, uncle. <laughs> nibbling, like nibbling. Nibbling. That's the one I was looking for. Uncle. Is the gender neutral term used to refer to a child? Of one sibling as a replacement for niece or nephew. Oh. I've never liked that one. It nibbling. sounds no nope. creepy. It does. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is creepy. Yeah. How about you just don't call them because it sounds like a freaking headache. Nibbling. <laughs> Got him. I don't know. I don't. It's too it weird. It seems like um. It reminds me of like Christmas and elves or something. Yeah. I d- nibbling. nibbling. It sounds like they don't have limbs. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And they're just. They're, they're like that guy on the skateboard on the train trying to get around, <laughs> asking for money. Yeah. Like, here's the thing. I don't mind changing pronouns, but just pick better ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pick better ne- pick better pronouns. Yeah, we, like we Falcon. Gotta, we got to regroup. <laughs> regroup and start over with the... We, we, rushed, we rushed it, I think. Mm. I think we rushed it. We should do Swayze, Swayze like Patrick Swayze. Yeah. That'd be good. He's cool. Swayze's good. Yeah. Yeah. Swayze, Swayze for what? For I don't fuck. I don't a know. Swayze for an aunt uncle. I think is I'm a Swayze. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. I like Swayze. Yeah. All right. It's weird that it's combined aunt aunt uncle because then it's still like it's still the genders. Yeah, an ankle. You know? Yeah. I broke my ankle. I don't know. Boo. <laughs> I'm trying to work it out. <laughs> well, it sucks. Work it out on someone else's podcast. All right, go on. <laughs> so is she at the asshole or not? What do we think? I don't know. I think no, but I don't think she should have kicked her out. No, I it's don't kind of either. insane. The I went through the comments. It, everyone kind of unanimously agreed that everyone sucks here. They all said yeah. ESH. <laughs> they were like, they were like, they your aunt's an asshole. But then why do you have to like kick her out immediately? Yeah. That's like yeah. insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and then she did put an edit since I picked this. So oh, she got it. an edit. Edit. I agree with y'all. I overreacted. I'm not going to try and justify myself. I have to learn better coping skills for these situations, and that's on the top of my list when I go back to therapy in three weeks. Just taking a break after labor, adjusting to baby and home, etc. I would also like to say I don't feel like apologizing, but I will, even Uh. though I will make it clear she was out of line. I must say this woman is a busybody and overstayed her welcome, but I was rude, and I admit it. Cat and baby get along great. Cat is protective and gentle towards baby, and we have had zero issues. On the other hand, I got a DM saying I should give my baby up for adoption. Like, what the what? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to bring you, you don't need to bring up a DM you got from a troll. Listen, I know, like, <laughs> yeah. so funny. On the <laughs> other hand, this thing that's the most important part of the whole situation <laughs> the stranger. I thought the edit was just going to be a picture of her cat. No, I'd oh be like, man, see what I mean? Shit, now I gotta look. They don't have pictures in Reddit. Yes, they do. Yeah, they, they do. do. You can post yeah. pictures. I'm scanning. I don't see any cat pictures. Man, that's that's so funny. Give it up for adoption. That's right. <laughs> You're not. Yeah, rehome the baby. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was there? Was something about that? Can you read that edit one more time? There was something about it. I was gonna say something. Oh, I got it. The, her apology, where she's like, "I'm gonna apologize, but I'm gonna make it clear that she was also in the wrong." That sounds like the apology my brother's stepdaughter was giving. Remember, Micah? Oh and yeah. She my my brother's stepdaughter got in a big fight with all of her friends. She's mm. seven. She's seven. Oh. She's seven years old. She's yeah, very yeah. funny, but uh. she's also mean. So <laughs> she was had to give an apology. And so she um 
They had to write an apology, and her apology was like, I'm so sorry that you made me act this way. (laughs) (laughs) If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be like this, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) And then at the end, she instead of sincerely, she wrote signature. (laughs) <laughs> just signature she That's wrote so signature funny. and then her name but oh. yeah do that. no well, she meant to write sincerely people, oh people say signed yeah signed. but she wrote insane. signature and then her name because she meant to write sincerely <laughs> which was very funny signed we i have to bring signed back yeah. signed is great signed is like real distant I love it. Oh, yeah. I was like, that's perfect. It's be- so much better than best. Oh, I yeah. I, uh, I, so I end mine with dictated, not read, <laughs> which I think is fun. That's fun. <laughs> but everyone knows that, Tim, because you can't read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now it's time for the best segment of the show. Reviews for the podcast. This is where you can go on Apple iTunes, leave a five-star review, and write something down, and we will read it on the show. But there is nothing on Apple oh. this week. Oh. Come on, you guys. Come on. But if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to YouTube and leave a comment, and we'll read those. So we have comments this week. Let's see. Do we get anything from Uncle Jemima? Oh, can they, brother. Can they also comment on your gutter uh, situation? Uh, you don't need to cut. I texted Jack. I was like, hey, listen. Uh, you may get a call from this lady's bank, and you also may get uh, a one-star review for the club. Because she was pretty pissed. And he goes, oh, I don't give a fuck at all. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, so th- so we're two weeks behind. Uh, the other week, my- we didn't do an episode. Michael wasn't feeling well. So here, did we wait? Did we read our reviews? Well, no, we read our reviews wait, on the last yeah, episode. Yeah, that was, that was last week. I'm a dumbass. So last week's episode of Sam Evans. Here are our comments on YouTube. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Just do all the fucking YouTube shit, please. God damn it. All right. Sam was I'll- supposed to be at the beach. Yeah, he yeah. was supposed to be at the yeah. beach. Sam was supposed to join us. Then he showed up. Wow. Took the ferry. S- took too long. I'll see him tomorrow. I'll talk to him about it. Thanks, Tim. Uncle Jemima says, all the Zoloft I'm on doesn't stop me from busting uncontrollably when I listen to the Great <laughs> Hang podcast. Hell yeah, Uncle Jemima. Glad to keep right. busting, baby. Yeah. Keep nutting and keep <laughs> fucking listening, bro. Uh, and more, and, and more. Do you think that's what that ad, nutting, honey? What's the matter? Not, do you remember that old commercial, Nut and Honey? No. Oh, fuck. Am I too old for life? Don't you remember? There was like a cereal called Nut and Honey. And then oh. they were like, what are you up to? And he's like, Nut and Honey. Oh. But really, he's just in there beating real hard. He's just smacking his hog around. <laughs> yeah. We got to find that commercial later. And Morton Leo says, Micah is slowly becoming the weird one in this couple. What? what? Every passing podcast pulls the veil back just a little bit further. Oh, because I was following those people. Oh, yeah. I, what? Per- I was thinking about that. <laughs> so I forgot all about it. There was like a while when I was living in New York and unemployed that I would just like wander around the city and like follow people and see where they would go. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot about that. And I shared that Wait. story. And now I re- that's got to be what he's talking about. It's got to like, be. Would choose, how would you choose them? It's just random. How did you choose your victims, that's Micah? I, Based yeah. on how rich they looked or something? It, it depends. Mm. I don't know. Like, I get it would just maybe by convenience. Like, you know, like how... Um, how did Marty McFly, which car he was going to hold on to with his skateboard, you know? Mm. It's just whoever was passing by next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike is being... <laughs> <That's... laughs> Mike Where do you a... find out? Nothing good. What's the longest no, you ever my... followed somebody? Yeah, like that... an hour let's or keep two. This, yeah. Let's get another comment on this next week. <laughs> like an hour or two, maybe. Oh Mike is that you followed notice? someone all the way uptown, I not, think. Not that I know. I'd like to... F- I want to try this now. See, I want to try cool. it to... To the point that they notice me, because then it's like a little game. That's, yeah, cat and mouse. Yeah. Oh, dear God. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> John Smith said, Micah being especially ruthless is quite fun, and Tim being a class act as always is endlessly enjoyable. That's right. I'm a good man. <laughs> Great episode per usual, but Micah kind of looks like she belongs in a throwback, like maybe the token white chick in a Fat Albert cartoon. What? They're saying you look you looked real seventies in the last uh Fuck yeah, dude. What are you wearing? I she would look like that. I'm it's, oh. my, it's my very glasses. Similar. Oh, the glasses. Yeah, I think yeah. it's I'm wearing a, a vintage I, jacket, but that's from the eighties. Yeah. yeah, there's Sam. But I am in my Penny Marshall era, so thanks for noticing. <laughs> and I'm in my Gary Marshall era. I've done nothing good. I've made terrible things. But it's all heartwarming. What? Gary Marshall didn't make only terrible things. New didn't Year's he produce? Eve. Didn't he produce um, Groundhog Day? Oh, maybe he produced Groundhog's Day. 
But he didn't direct it. No. But Happy Days? Yeah. Not very good. Heartwarming. People loved Happy Days. It People was a hit. loved it. Mm. Do they love If you go back Launched now, are you going to like it? Howard's epic career. No, it yes. didn't. No. Yes. Wrong. 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 Okay. Wrong. I guess it was true. Wrong. Yeah. The Andy Griffith Show. Oh, fuck. Ron Howard was on the Andy Griffith Show as a child, you fucking idiot. (laughs) And yet again, I lose. And now, for our next segment, the news. It's gone. Because Micah beat beat me. Micah got me really drunk on Friday night so that I was super hungover (laughs) last Saturday and couldn't think and then use that (laughs) to beat me in Trivial Pursuit. So now, as the loser of Trivial Pursuit, it is Micah versus Brittany. Oh. In Trivial Pursuit, and the winner gets. Um, do you have any like money floor money, Micah? The, the um, last time I found a, a bathroom dollar in the in the bathroom at the at Paramount Studios. Um, Maybe I got something. <laughs> nope. What do I Moths got? flying out of okay. there. Okay, you know what? Winner gets. Oh shit! The problem is, it's all my stuff. So it's I either mm. get to keep my stuff or you get it, which is you fine. Like an oh, old, an old winner stamp gets, card or something. What? I got it. Winner gets some. Uh, I thought you were gonna pick that basketball card. Uh, Bayberry matches. incense matches. Oh, okay. All right. Tim there we uses go. them for when he farts. Uh, when I rip, <laughs> when I drop bombs down here. Here we go. <laughs> he pulls that. Okay, so here's apart. what he asked the question, and then we have to ring in if we know the answer. Yes. Okay. You can say your name, or you can say Micah's name, or Micah, you can say Brittany's name. Which one are you going to do? Okay, well, um, I'm going to say my name this time. All right, Brittany, are you going to say Micah's I'm name? i Micah's name. Okay, okay. so everyone's saying Micah. <laughs> All right. The word vodka is derived from the Russian word voda, which means what? Micah. Micah, yes. Potato. No. Shit. <laughs> Brittany. That's a good guess. Uh, um... Oh, wait. Oh, I have a second guess. Well, you don't get a second guess because your first guess was wrong, you idiot. Voda is the word? Yeah. V-O-D-A. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have no idea. I'm going to say uh, confidence or something. Wait, before you say it, can I do a second guess? Yeah, but it doesn't count. Water. Yes. Damn it. Oh. The answer is water because it's as easily drinkable, supposedly. Mm. Yeah. Fuck. Voda, water. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm a moron. Oh, Sorry, yeah. You, I you guess. are. You so are, am I. Yeah. Are. I never would have guessed. To add a sense of awe-inspiring scale, Ridley Scott's two sons, Luke and Jake, were used in an atmospheric scene in which, bre- in which Breakout 1979 hit. Ridley Scott, 1979, Breakout hit. This is before my era, too. I know nothing about it. It is the film Alien. Uh, I would have never guessed that. No, Great movie. I didn't know he directed that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're zero zero. Who spearheaded it? Did you notice how, much, how different he read the movie one? He's so It excited. was very, like, announcer. Oh, you want me? I'll do it all announcer we. <laughs> Who separated a lawsuit against Pacific Gas and Electric that resulted in a $330 million settlement for residents of Hinkley, California. Oh, Micah. Yes, Micah. Aaron Brockovich. B-R-O-C-K-O-V-I-C-H. Oh. That is correct. <laughs> it was Aaron Brockovich. This case was dramatized in a film starring Julia Roberts. Mm-hmm. That's right. I, Good movie. It was Hinkley that got it. Then I remember oh. the movie. All right. A little bit of, do you hear the oh. trouble going on upstairs? I think that was someone coming in the building. Oh. Okay. It is one nothing. Micah over Micah. Here we go. Which character in the Melville novel Moby Dick is the basis for the name of a successful coffee franchise? Uh, Micah. Yes. Ahab. No. Oh, then it's Micah. the other one. Yes. <laughs> I don't know any of the names. Which character? No, okay, we'll think of it another way. Which character in a Melville novel, Moby Dick, is the basis for the name of a successful coffee franchise? So don't think of Moby Dick characters. Think of successful coffee franchises was how I would do it. I got it. You want to take a guess? I mean, Starbucks doesn't seem like a name. That is correct. I was going to say that, but it doesn't sound like a character. Starbuck. Oh, I didn't know that Is that one of the characters? I guess so. I haven't read the book or Uh, any book. There's only Ahab Uh. and Ishmael and Moby Dick. There's no one else in the book, and everybody knows that. All right. Maybe it's Ishmael I mean, I didn't know that, but... Well... (laughs) Oh, yeah, maybe it's the last name. The Sea is a character, of course. Mm. That's in The Old Man and the Sea. It's a different book. Oh. (laughs) Which holiday plant... Which... 
Oh, Micah, poinsettia. Yeah. No. Shit. Which holiday plant from the oh. Visakea family grows in trees by attaching itself to the branch? Cheers. Oh, I have a second guess. I'm a second guess, bitch. Brittany, this can put you over the top. You can get two points here. Holiday plant? Which holiday plant? Oh, pr- oh, oh, oh. Micah. Yes. Mistletoe. Yes, Damn that it. is correct. Oh, it is now. Two to one. Two to one. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Questions? No, we got one more. Micah, we have one more. Shit, I gotta tie this up. You gotta tie it up. I gotta stop guessing too fast. Yeah, you guessed on the first one. All right. You guessed on holiday plant. Well, (laughs) I would have guessed you. What is the highest rank in the Boy Scouts? Oh, Micah. Yes. Eagle. That is Ah. correct. (laughs) All right. So, thank you. (laughs) Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna read the first one to get a question right. Wins. All right. Since it is tied, we have a brand new card. Which Caribbean island in a villa once owned by 007 creator Ian Fleming did Sting write the song Every Breath You Take? Uh, Barbados. Micah, Barbados. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I know who, one person who would know. A one Louis J. Gomez, because it was oh, Jamaica. Jamaica. Oh. Which music festival was founded in 1991 by Jane's Addiction frontman, Perry Farrell? Oh, Micah. Yes. Warp Tour. Wrong. Shit. Say the, can you say the question again? Which music festival was founded in 1991 by Jane's Addiction oh. frontman, Perry Farrell? Here's a hint. I've been once. That helps. <laughs> I have a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, um, oh, is it like... Uh, Ten. Nine. The one that starts with a eight, B? Seven. <laughs> it's like Bonner. six. <laughs> five. Uh, something like that. Four. Three. I'm waiting for you to answer. You can't just let Micah answer for you. You have no, to give me No, she got it, though. Well, oh, it was Micah. not... It was well, not. It's not It was Lollapalooza, yes. Damn it. All right. I'm on my second guess game. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, it's easy when your first I've one's got no, wrong. I don't even know how to guess this. What kind of attacks began on October 25th, 1944, when Japanese planes engaged a U.S. fleet in the Philippines in the Battle of Leyte? What kind of attacks? What sugar? kind of attacks? What? Um, oh, nuclear? My, sugar. Sugar attacks? Oh, I thought you meant attacks. Yeah, I, that's what I heard like too. A, but attacks. A T T. Oh, can you read it one more time? All right. Well, Micah. Well, hold on. <laughs> okay, goddamn. I'm it. reading it one more time. What kind of attacks began on October 25th, 1944, when Japanese planes engaged with U.S. fleets in the Philippines in the Battle of Leyte? Micah. Yes. Nuclear. Wrong. Fuck. <laughs> there's only been one nuclear. There's only been two nuclear attacks. Well, I thought that was then. No, not in the Philippines, stupid. Oh. <laughs> All right. Does <laughs> is, is kamikaze attack? Is that a thing? And Brittany, oh, you are it. the champion. Oh. It is kamikaze attacks. 1,321 Japanese planes crashed into targets during the war. Mm. Damn. All right. And congratulations. Bayberry Incense oh, is yours. Know. Thank you. Hey, are these used yet? No, they're not even used. I don't know. You, well, there you oh. go. You probably have most of them, at least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now it's time for you to shine, Brittany. We need either a f- party tip or a fun party story, or both. Hell, if you got both, why not? Um, I got, bo- well, I went with, like, what makes a great hang. Yeah. Great. Okay, yeah. So I got a party story, too. Okay, um, go. we can do both. I, I sleep talk. And people, so does some Micah. people like it. Really? Some people like it. Some people find it fun after to be like, you did all this. Well, she, but you it's sleep, scary a lot, You too, sleep I talk, I sleep scream. Oh, people really? People do not like that. You s- like full scream? Or are you just like, yeah? because yeah. they're night terrors. So I'm just uh, like, no, yeah. fuck you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's really scary. How often? Um, Tim? Like once a month? Uh, a couple no, times a month? No, once every couple weeks. Once every two weeks. Yeah, a couple times a month. Uh, actually, I would say it might be once a week. But no. I'll wake up sometimes. She'll be like, fuck you. <laughs> 
Are you are you having like specific dreams when they happen? Yeah, sometimes I'll remember if like I wake up. Yeah, I'm either being chased or someone's really pissing me off. Mm. I got a lot of unresolved anger. Mm. What dream did I have the other day that was pretty cool? <laughs> oh, it was Tim has the dumbest fucking dreams ever. Oh, he was. What were you doing? Like naming a dog or just like it's always something like so. <laughs> yeah. Dumb. It's like so calm and dumb. Yeah, uh, I was like hanging out with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was sick how can you even tell if it's a dream if it's like so neutral well because i wake up and there's no dog around <laughs> tim has dreams where he just like waits in line <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know i had Man. a dream where i was just waiting in line for the post office it fucking sucked yeah i i normally have like like weird dreams but recently i've started noticing that when i'm like falling asleep i'm having that slight dream thing but it's just me on instagram like looking at instagram Wait, and really? i get really mad and I'm like only half asleep, but I'm like now you're like closing your eyes and seeing this. It's interesting because like I just stuck. saw I just saw a tweet that was like, "How come you never see your phone in your dreams?" And everyone's like, "Oh my god, my mind is blown!" But you do. Well, it's like I'm almost asleep, but it's like the mm. that part where you're like, yeah, twilight sleep. Yeah, and you can still think about what's going on. And I every time it happens, I get really mad. You get mad at that you're watching. I get mad that I'm like on Instagram in my fun sleep time oh <laughs> <laughs> can't you lucid dream then at that point and turn it around i think only at that point you can kind of yeah i should turn it around, turn it around. instead of just getting angry you know I like do i do something about I it i used to try to lucid dream because i have like these like such strong dreams yeah i, I used to practice it and you could practice and get better at it apparently yeah. i had a boyfriend who i was really into lucid dreams for a while too i never got good at it but he bought me like this mask yeah it was supposed to flash lights at the time when you're supposed to be in REM mm. to like, you'd like learn the cue that lights flashed in your dream and go, Oh, I'm dreaming. And Wait, then you can really? like control it. Yeah. Um, he bought it from like some Kickstarter thing. I don't know if it really works, but I, I wore it for it a while. Works. Did, yeah. you, did you ever get to do I it? I took it off every night in the middle of the night. Yeah. But I have lucid dreamt a few times. What'd you do? One time I used to have tsunami dreams all the time. Cool. Yeah. I think it's like an anxiety thing, oh. but I like them. Yeah. I actually, some of them are fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One time I was in a tsunami dream and I was in a lake and it turned into a tsunami and I was holding a Pepsi. Oh yeah. Pepsi brings us together. Yeah, it was like it's only nice slightly, commercial. slightly worse than the Kendall Jenner. <laughs> ad. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get, I didn't get like scared at all. I was just yeah. like, I was waiting next to this old man and the tsunami was coming. And we were being lifted up up in the wave. And I was like, oh, I guess I got to finish this now. That was like <laughs> my only concern. But one time I was lucid dreaming during a tsunami dream. And uh, I just told everybody everything everything was fine. I was like, oh, cool. I was like, it's a dream. Just watch it. It's fun. Oh, cool. And what the fuck does this have to do with a tip for being a great hang? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Tim cannot handle dream talk. <laughs> We've entered Tim's nightmare. No, I, I do, but I, I thought it would be pretty good if I was a real dick about it. <laughs> well, I started with sleep talking. Yes. That can be fun. One wait, time. How wait, How is that a part? I, it's not, I guess. It's like if you're at a sleepover. Wait, you can't even control it. All right, I'll do a party <laughs> story. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you know what you, you should that, do? Buddy? Here's my tip. Here's my great hang tip. Fall asleep and then say something interesting. Yeah, then unconsciously <laughs> like, decide to create something from your mind. Yeah. You know how you're real it's boring at parties? Fun. Try to fall asleep. Maybe you'll accidentally yeah. stumble on something. see what you do. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah. Party story. Party story. Okay. I got either... Okay, this is an actual party, so I'll do that one so I don't get shut down again by Tim. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> you guys could have talked about dreams all day. I was sitting here quietly thinking. This is, it's, okay, I got one that involved a SWAT team and one that was just getting caught in high school. Well, I mean. SWAT team. What? Yeah, <laughs> what? I mean, what are, what are you even doing? Yeah. Why have why have She's why like, have well, Amber? The SWAT team was a dream, and I told everybody. <laughs> that I mean, why have you like streams? Why have I already him? tried my dreams? It wasn't hitting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I went to a block party in college, and it got so big and crazy. It was like mob like yeah. that they sent a SWAT team. Holy and shit! And the SWAT team was like coming down the hillsides around the like area where the little block party was. 
they were all over. Did so, they have tear gas you? Yeah, no, not me. But oh. and then um, people started throwing beers at them. It was like <laughs> wild. Wait, so you wait. were a part of a riot. Yeah, we were all running around. That's so you're awesome. just like partying, watching them come down the hill. What is that? We were thinking? just at what what felt like a regular, very big outside party. Yeah, like almost like a festival, but it was like college. And then we started to see them like surrounding the whole thing. Oh I mean, probably because there's so much underage drinking, and maybe they suspected it would get like riotous. Yeah, but they don't send the SWAT team. There. What? It, they were where probably were like it's too big to manage. Where? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Where yeah. were you? Uh, I lived in Bellingham, Washington, for college. Wow! Yeah. At the University of Washington? No, <laughs> I some don't know. Small Western Washington University. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, small school. But it was crazy. Yeah. It, God, the Northwest really doesn't know how to handle our <laughs> protesters, <laughs> do they? No, out. that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking lost control of all Portland. Yeah, and, yeah. Right? Yeah. And yeah, Portland. Seattle. Capitol and Hill Seattle. was like. Right. Hmm. Portland's crazy. I just watched a whole thing about it today. All drugs are legal. And the homelessness is wild. They want the people there to die, don't they? They're just kind of hoping that the problem will resolve itself. Wait, all drugs are legal? In all Portland? drugs are legal in Portland. Maybe they're hoping people will stop taking fentanyl. They'll well, be like, here, do this other the shit. The guy was yeah. like, so they legalized all the drugs in Portland, but they didn't do what like any of like the like Denmark or Finland or any of those countries who do that. You know, mm. they didn't. They didn't also didn't like put Regulate in place. It? Yeah, they didn't put in place any like. Uh, you know, like health stuff where they get free needles. They didn't have, they don't have like counseling, like all these other countries where drugs are legal and everything is like fine. They also have an infrastructure based around mm, yeah. the legalization of drugs. Also, it's regulated there. Like you can't just have, like you can't yeah. just be dealing and selling. You have to like go to the specific stores, I believe. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it has to be monitored. Yeah, maybe. But they didn't do that in Portland. They just legalized all the drugs, and now people are just homeless everywhere. And uh, I mean, I, probably not everywhere, but I think the whole downtown is overrun with like homeless mm. people in Portland. What do you do? What do you like? What do you? What's the goal there? Like as a city? I don't know. I think I don't know. Mm. Like, what do you do? Just let them die off and not mm. worry about? Like, well, you got to bury them, I guess. <laughs> like, what do you do? What do you what are you doing? Like Austin? What I are don't you understand doing? the the motivation either. Like, like they think it's gonna cure addiction because it's freely available instead I, of being like. I mean, that obviously is not. No, what, that's it's not just gonna. every drug addict. Maybe they're a, maybe they're a homeless addict magnet, and then they'll clean up all the rest of the cities. Like stick them in one fucking drug city, mm. and let them all fucking cycle out. And then everybody who fucking junkies up goes there and leaves the rest of the yeah. population alone. It's like that movie, The Congress. Have you seen this? Oh, no. I have you know the I, No, I have not seen it. Oh, man. But like, it's I mean, good. it's tragic for those people, but like, good for everybody else because it's like, if you have them in yeah. every city, then more and more people are going to get yeah, addicted. True. But if you just put them far away in one city, then it's like only yeah. the people who really want to do drugs will end up if there. That's what they want. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. But speaking of people dying, oh, perfect segue into our next segment, our our <laughs> penultimate segment. Speak ill of the dead. Oh, yeah. This is where. Brittany, I don't know if you came up with a dead person to talk shit about, but mm -hmm. we talk shit about a dead person. Michael, would you like to start or would you like me to start? I'll go ahead and start. All right, go for it. Um, this dead person, um, I'm going to speak ill of Michael Jackson. Whoa, hey, Jacko. Micah, no. He's, a pie, he's the king of pop. He's the king of pop, beloved pop star, but a lot of people don't know that he actually was a baby boomer. What? <laughs> Ew. What the fuck, Michael Jackson? How are you uh. going to fucking be living the high life of America, just be a baby boomer, and not understand the shit that the rest of the population yeah. is going through? It's disgusting. You fucking piece of shit, boomer <laughs> loser. You know what I say to the man in the mirror? Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. <laughs> Damn. Fucking dork ass, <laughs> fucking boomer ass, Michael Jackson. Why don't you rest in piss, bitch? Yeah, I hope I hope a Gen Z devil is butt fucking you to death, Michael Jackson in hell. That's right. <laughs> All right, go I ahead, Brittany. Uh, I I'm going with Neil Armstrong. Yeah, Whoa! fuck Neil yeah. Armstrong. Fuck you, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Because uh, he faked it. That's the problem. He's Whoa. <laughs> no, that's not why. Oh. <laughs> I was like, she edits a science magazine. Yeah. This is a serious <laughs> allegation. She's gonna and I'm waiting for people to send me this kind of work. <laughs> I, I, I Stanley Kubrick's evidence. dead. He can't send you the fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. The files. Uh, no, Neil Armstrong, he didn't do anything else, though. He did that. He did that. He well, did that. 
Yeah. And it's not like it was his idea or he, like, came up with it. Yeah, he didn't invent the moon. Yeah. yeah. Armstrong. It, also, or walking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or saying words while walking. Yeah, And then being broadcast to the, the... Yeah, you're basic as hell, Neil yeah. Armstrong. Holy shit. But also, I ended up reading about him on the way here on Wikipedia because I was like, did he do anything else? And there's a story about him, like... Because he got, he ended up being married to this woman that he sat with at breakfast somewhere. They didn't talk at all. He called her two weeks later and asked what she was doing. She's like, "I'm chopping down a cherry tree." Oh my oh, god! Hey, George, and, then, George, yeah, George. and then he hung up and went to her place and was there 20 minutes later and helped her chop the tree down and then they got married. That is that some weird? fucking like, milk toast cornbread fucking yeah. bullshit. And it's like overly romantic. Like it's kind of scary. Was this pre or post moon? This is post. This is way post. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I mean, bitches oh, in are the gonna. Oh, sli- Yeah, so he's he got divorced, and, and then he like met this lady chopping down her tree. I mean, bitches <laughs> slide out of their seat for a guy who's been on the moon. Trust I me, I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yeah, there ain't no gravity for us either. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that they put people's signatures on their Wikipedia pages now? Oh, huh? like you know what? I've that, noticed that, but I never yeah. really thought about it's it. It's real weird. Interesting. Mm. Well, I hope you're in hell getting weightlessly butt-fucked by the devil. Rest in piss, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> and for me, I hate to do it, you know? I hate to talk shit about another Tim. I never want to talk shit about another Tim, but I have to do it today. Timothy Treadwell... Hey, listen, you bear hanging out with dumbass motherfucker. Of course you're going to get eaten by a bear, you fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking grizzly man. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Timothy oh, Treadwell, the grizzly man. Have you heard More the like audio? No grizzly man. Have yeah. I heard the audio? Of course yeah. I've heard the audio. Oh, I am a man with the internet. Oh, uh, immediately so. in, the, in the thing where he's like, no one can listen to this. I was like, oh, I'm going to go listen to it. I'm going to find it. Let's do it right now. More like Timothy Tread bad. Yeah. Ugh. More like Timothy Tread right into a fucking bear's mouth, you stupid bitch. More like Timothy Tread into hell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your best friend was a fox? Uh, my best friend is a person. Named so, Fox. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, named Fox. David Fox. That's my dad. <laughs> That's my dad. I just found out my dad is Tim's best friend. Uh. <laughs> and also... My best friend's name is Toe Fox, the cat. (laughs) So anyways, you're a piece of shit. I hope uh, the devil is dressed as a bear, butt fucking you in hell, even though I'm sure you would probably freaking love that. And you were secretly gay and everyone knows it. Come out. It's Pride Month. (laughs) Come out. Let's do a seance and bring him up from hell so that he can come out. How secret was it? We knew he was into bears. Well, but he brought that woman with him sometimes to go camping with those bears. Mm, A beard. Yeah, his beard. A bear, a bear, a beer beard. Yeah, bear beard. <laughs> bear, thank you. Uh, so, anyways, you were secretly gay. You're a piece of shit, and I'm glad you're dead. Um, all right, that's it. All right, it's time, time for, for sign offs. Final segment: sign offs. Oh, okay. Signing off. It is I, the greatest man who has ever lived, the king of the gays in the month of June, a sweet boy and an even sweeter man. Timothy Grady McLaughlin II. Thank you all for listening, and check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash greathang. And signing off, it is me, the nicest girl in the world. Uh, the Swayze to my nieces, to my nibblings. Uh, Toby's mom, uh, Brittany's friend, Tim's friend, and girlfriend, and your friend, and podcast host, Micah Fox. All right, you your have turn. To say Signing so. off. There we go. Nice. Uh, a person who was here on the pod, on the couch, feet on the ground, sometimes up and talking and laughing. Yes. Brittany Cardwell. Thank you. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye bye. <laughs> All right.